Now, Daniel, I know part of what you do, you're CEO of uh, Brownstone Capital Investments, and you talk about also, uh, you know, how you're very into creating homes that are like healing sanctuaries, correct? Yeah. Tell me about yeah. that, because that's fascinating to me. I'm looking right. for a home right now. I sold right. my place in the city after so long. It just wasn't conductive anymore to me. And it's like, this idea of a healing sanctuary is so important. We spend so much time in our homes. And half of these yeah. homes that we're building are really almost making us sick. The OCs, so we build around else. Austin. We build spec homes in Austin, kind of why vaguely called mid-market, very different price points, real mixture. Um, and there's two things we do that I can already say we do this really well. So very high design and very high quality. Great. Mm. But then the third pillar or tripod or whatever you want to call it for me is making homes healthier because that's my deep, deep passion. I believe I'm here to help the world become healthier and happier because of it. So I wanted to apply that to our homes. And yeah, I believe the same as you. I think our homes are not so good for us these days. Yeah. Um, we don't get clean and uh, naturally flowing into them very well. They're these tightly sealed boxes. Yes. Uh, the water coming in can be a problem. So many of our pipes and the water crap that comes through. So how do you address those things? I am not yet willing to stamp my Daniel Brown seal of approval that our homes are what I would call healthy, whether it be physically or spiritually, but they're getting better all the time. And I've got an image in my head, it's maybe three to five years out. I could make a house right now that I could truly say that is a healthy home in every way, mm. in both physically, mentally, et cetera. But that $2 million home is now going to have to be $3.5 million. So I'm a realist. I've got a business yeah. to run it. So how do I do it? So we just look all the time at the little tweaks we could make. Oh, great. We've found a healthy paint company where the paint doesn't have plastics and oil and so on in there. The paint is all mineral-based, which now means the person actually doing the painting isn't breathing in the toxic fumes yep. and it allows moisture to pass through correctly. So you're less likely to get mold between the walls because the house can breathe better. Great. It's not that much more expensive than normal paint. We're, we'll do that one. Next batch of houses. Okay. We found a great whole of house, uh, whole of home water filtration system that's not crazy expensive, but makes a real difference to health long term bring that into play, keep adding pieces on. And we're just constantly looking and researching. And like most things that develop, things get cheaper as they become more commonplace and get better research. So we keep trying to find that balance of what can we bring in and we just keep wanting to bring it. And the extra element on top is we try and work with our architects and our, our amazing designer, my wife, not biased at all, mm. <laughs> um, on the flow of the home and the, that maybe more spiritual sense of things. Well, what's the light going to feel like? And if where would you likely be sat relaxing where you'll sit here what do you see what's around you what's the space like which way are we facing magnetic poles position of the sun whatever it might be and just bring in what we can and mm -hmm. just keep trying to enhance these elements and like i say one day i want to turn around and go boom that one there that house that's the all encapsulating it gets my full seal of approval on mm. all of it and we just keep moving that way and i just i'd love to get to a place where as knowledge grows in the buyer, more and more buyers start to say, we expect this now, which yes. means other builders have to do the same thing, which means more people are healthier in their homes. As much as anything, I want people out their homes more anyway, but we're going to be in them for a significant percentage of the time. Let's make them better places to be. Oh, absolutely. I agree with you. It's one of those. The lighting things. is an easy one. That's a great one. That's an easy one, with. right? And they, these aren't, you know, you don't have to, you know, rip down your house and rebuild it you could start small like you said lighting air purification just moving just getting flow you're yeah. right locked up like uh, so many houses don't even have windows or the modern ones apartments let's say that you could open at all you know in new york city i know that's almost like a badge of honor because you know it's safer <laughs> and look we're using all this you know beautiful technology you don't need to ever open up like no no you do you know you can't lock yourself completely out of nature if anything go to the other way and make it more biophilic and bring more nature in and that's healthier for you yeah and, you and can, if you're looking on the screen you can see all these plants i've got behind yeah. me even that is that simple there's something about this room that i work in well, yes. I've been very careful about the particular paint color I've chosen. It's like a calming, not bright white. Mm -hmm. I hardly ever turn lights on, but when I do, they're ultra low flicker. They've got a nice yellow hue to them. Yes. Um, I, I'm breathing in, I, I believe, better air because of those plants. It's just small okay. differences. Yeah, This room feels like a very chill, peaceful place for me. I'm as close to the window as I can get. I open it as often as possible. Yeah, makes a difference.
Yeah, where where you work and where you sleep are so essential. We want to make it into that space that calms you, that makes you feel good, that makes mm. you productive, that makes you regenerate better, right? And people often overlook these things. And they wonder why they're not feeling so much so yeah. well, why they're you know always fatigued. Like these are the little things you could look at and make those little changes, and they have such a great ROI. So I love that idea of what you're doing, and you know, it's such a I'm such a fan of this. Again, it's my idea is the healing sanctuary, right? That's that needs to be your home. That's yeah. you know, if you can't call your home a healing sanctuary, then I don't know if you could really optimize health. But sanctuary is a good word for it. It really well, is. that's that's what we all seek is some sanctuary and everything. And I do think that's the healthiest way to live. Like you said, we have so many pieces of information coming at us. So many things that are negative. Let's just balance it out. Doesn't mean you have to go live in a cave completely off the grid. Uh, yeah. You know, you could do it in a in a in a very smart way, in a modern way that you feel really good in, and you know, are still interlinked and part of society. So. Yeah, I I mean, you mentioned again. I think before we even started, uh, social media. It's got yep. all its downsides. It's got its upsides. Every piece of technology has pros and cons. So my new thing, as of literally just a week ago, uh-oh, I've caught myself being pulled back into the bad habit of playing on Instagram more than I really <laughs> should and need to. Okay, from now on, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, that's my only days I'm going to go on it. I'm going to go on twice. Once to post something for my business or for my personal account because it feels like the right thing to do and allow myself five minutes to enjoy and pull some useful knowledge in. And then once more later the same day, because if I've done a post, I might want to respond for the best yes. engagement and that's it. And a couple of days ago, it was the Tuesday and I was like, oh, old habit, pull up the phone. I went, oh no, <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't. Okay, put it back in the pocket. Great. Right. And instantly I feel better and more peaceful. I don't have to abandon social media. It's not the devil. It's yeah. wonderful if I'm in control of it and it's not in control of me. Yeah. Yeah. It's like uh, in medicine, say the, the devil is in the dosage, right? Yeah, you know, keep keep it minimal. You'll be fine. You yeah. maximize it. Oh, no, OD. Not healthy. <laughs> no.